Welcome to this AutoText tutorial. During this tutorial, we introduce to you the Manitou feature of AutoText and how you can use this feature to automate many notifications to increase response times and improve customer satisfaction. Before we get started, let's discuss what AutoText is. AutoText uses SMS technology to enable Manitou to send and receive text messages. Autotext can manage low priority alarms by generating automated outbound text messages and offers an interactive system for responses to acknowledge messages as well as extend times on late to open or late to close events. We are making the following assumptions for which you have a basic understanding before coming to this tutorial. That you have a general understanding of the data entry and alarm handling processes within Manitou, how to create action patterns within Manitou, what script messages are and where they're created, what the Media Gateway and Universal Connector are, and that your system is properly licensed for the Universal Connector and Media Gateway and that it is installed. When your AutoText is installed by our Bold staff, your system is already configured with an SMS connector and three default menus, AT Basic, AT Notified 2, and AT EXT CL and the Autotext line driver. The only thing configuration-wise you will have to do is set your timeout setting. We will cover that in this tutorial. So what do the different Autotext menus do? The AT Basic script sends an outbound message and does not expect a reply, therefore the action pattern would simply contact the Autotext contact point and then close the alarm with the desired resolution code. The AT Notified 2 script sends an outbound message and waits for a reply of 1. To acknowledge the message that the person received the alarm notification. This should just have a contact Autotext contact point line in the action pattern or call list with an override Autotext. The Auto Client and Media Gateway take care of closing the alarm. The resolution code entered can be adjusted by the menu component in the AT Notified 2 menu or two, to acknowledge and request a callback from the CS, which then moves to the next action or drops to the alarm queue depending on the action pattern utilized. The ATEXTCL script should also have just an action pattern line to contact the Autotext contact point or call list with override with Autotext. The person receiving the message will be required to send back their passcode, the area to extend the schedule, and the number of minutes to extend the schedule, then closing current alarm, generating an additional alarm if nothing is received in the extended time. The resolution code and comment the Media Gateway uses to close the alarm can be adjusted under the menu in the Media Gateway. During this tutorial, you will learn how to set up Autotext in Manitou, including setting the Autotext timeout option within the Media Gateway, linking a script message to use the Media Gateway menus within the Manitou Supervisor Workstation, creating a call list of contacts, building an action pattern to call that call list and override with the Autotext features, tying an action pattern to an event code, testing the Autotext features, troubleshooting if issues arise, and how to advise customers to respond to Autotext messages. Step 1. Media Gateway the Autotext timeout is found within the Manitou Media Gateway. Once you log into the Media Gateway, select the Menu Item Options. This is found as the last item on the navigator. Enter the password and click OK. Select Autotext in the middle of the next menu and enter the number of the seconds the Media Gateway should wait for the initial response. 1200 seconds is 20 minutes. The second timeout is for use when there are multiple replies required. This timeout is for the wait after the initial message and reply. After these timeouts are set to your company standards, click File and Save to commit these changes. While we are here in the Media Gateway, let's take a look at where we can find the other items. The SMS connector is found underneath the connectors node in the navigator. The arrow on the far right hand side expands to reveal the connector details. The auto text menus are found under the menu items node and the Autotext line drivers are found under the line drivers node. The first step to configuring Autotext inside Manitou is to link a script message to the appropriate Autotext menu. For this tutorial, we will link the AT Notify 2 menu to the Notify script message. 
For a refresher on creating script messages, please review the virtual operator tutorial. Select the Notify Script Message and click Edit. At the very end of the message, type the following. Curly bracket, dollar sign, M C A T Notify 2, curly bracket. Then click Demo. Review the script message to ensure that you see the new information at the end of the message and then click Save. The next step to configuring Manitou is to build an action pattern to contact a person or call list. The decision to be made is if you wish to have a separate Autotext contact point or just a listing of people where their mobile numbers can override those numbers as Autotext. There are benefits and challenges with each. The benefit of using call lists is that if the numbers change, you only have to change them once within the customer records. The benefits of having the people as individual numbers is that they can be called individually within action patterns. You will have to make a decision that is best for you within your organization. This tutorial is created them within call lists on a customer record. Just like all other action pattern creation, we can create these within an action pattern on the dealer, customer, or monitoring company record. For this example, we create this on the customer record. Here we are creating a new power action pattern and selected this as a notify call list. When we select the add command, we are prompted with a dialog where we can override as auto text. Once selected, we have the option to select the notify script message and that is pointing to the AT notify to menu within the media gateway. Once we click OK, this adds to the action pattern. Then we add the close command to our action pattern and save our record. The last thing we have to do is tie that new action pattern to the event code so that we can send that text message to someone when the alarm trips. Here we are doing that on the customer event actions programming. We then tie that to an AC trouble event. When we are done with our edits, we click save. Now that the Media Gateway has its configuration and timeouts, and Manitou is linked through script messages to the Media Gateway, the action pattern points to the mobile phone to a script message, it's time to test if it's worked. We will send a manual signal and see if the event made it to the mobile phone, and then reply with one. Troubleshooting. Where do you check when you have questions about signaling on a customer record? That's right, the customer activity log. Do you see any activity at all? Yes, that's a good sign. The event at least made it to the right account. Now the next question is, did the event get picked up by the auto client virtual operator? If so, still a good sign, probably has the right action pattern. Did the event make it to the destination mobile phone? Did the reply get back into Manitou? From there, we can start looking for error messages. Error messages often point us in a direction as to if the issue is because the media gateway didn't respond or couldn't find the right pathway. If the virtual operator did not pick up the event, there could be one of two key things wrong. One, the virtual operator is not currently running. That's an easy fix. Make sure it's running. Or two, on the more common issue, is that the comment on the record, or it could be a dealer, authority, or branch entity too, has an operator must see alarm comment enabled. And the signal handler won't allow the virtual operator to handle that event. If you're still having issues and you're unable to find a discernible reason for the message and you're not, it's still not getting to the destination or reply not updating Manitou, you still can contact our Bold support team. We can email them at support at boldgroup.com or you can give our support team a call. Tips for end users. When replying to an extend a late to close format, it is very specific. Therefore, it's good to have a simple password for those users who may be receiving these sorts of text through Autotext. When they receive a notification of a late to close event, their message can ask them if they would like to extend their closing period. If they would like to do so, they will need to reply with their password, the area they wish to extend, and the number of minutes they wish to extend, all in one continuous message separated by periods. So that's it. We have reached the end of this tutorial. So what did we cover? We introduced to you what the Autotext does and how you can streamline your services and offer your customers faster notifications. We discussed the requirements and what is already configured for you by the time you are ready for this tutorial. 
We covered how to set up your Autotext timeouts in the Media Gateway, as well as where to find the SFMS connector, Autotext menus, and Autotext line drivers. After that, we tied the Autotext menus to a script message within the Supervisor Workstation and tied the script message to Autotext call list in an action pattern inside the Operator Workstation. Finally, we tied action patterns to event codes and tested. Troubleshooting always starts within the Customer Activity Log, and when all else fails, Bold is always here to help through the Bold Support Portal and the support team. Now it's your turn. Feel free to take what you've learned and set up a test account with your mobile phone and test again and again. Then roll it out to your customers. Now that you've watched this tutorial, you are eligible for a 15-minute free consultation with a member of our training team. Please give us a call at 719-593-2829 and provide the code listed on this video. Thank you and happy texting.